What's up, ladies and gents? This is Rebel. Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to talk about my research technique and how I keep up with crypto Twitter, Reddit videos, and um, YouTube, and all that kind of stuff, right? There's so much things out there when it comes to crypto. It's just impossible. Like so much noise. It's impossible to keep up with everything. So what I do is I connect bots with Discord to make things easier for me. All right. Feel free to use this technique as yours. This is not the all one and only technique out there. There's thousands of them out there. I believe so. This is not the foolproof technique, but this helps me keep things organized to the point. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you're new to my channel, would appreciate if you could subscribe and also follow me on Twitter for time sensitive news, because we know everything changes in crypto like this. All right. And uh, that's about it. So let's begin. I use a service called Bot Ghost. All right, so before I begin and talk about Bot Ghost, just to let you know, you have to understand Discord a little bit. You have to understand how to create a channel on Discord, uh, how to use the bot token, etc. And if not, I would suggest you go watch those videos. There should be several on YouTube. Watch them, then watch this video, okay? And however, I believe they also have a tutorial on YouTube, which I'm gonna show you in a second, all right? So Bot Ghost, I believe I have the unlimited bots lifetime license, which was $150. Okay. And that allows me to create unlimited bots with unlimited features and whatnot. I'm going to give you an example with crypto X, which is a bot I created. And uh, when you create a new bot, they have this tutorial right here, very straightforward. Okay. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you need to understand the, the developer side of the discord a little bit, bot token, etc., and then, or just watch the video. I, th I believe it's very really straightforward. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Crypto X as an example here. So I'm logged into Crypto X here. Okay. Once you're logged in, you, there, there's several modules, and I do not play with all of them. I just mess around with Twitter, YouTube a little bit, and Reddit, and that's all you need, to be honest. Uh, unless you want to play with something else, that's totally fine. They have a lot more features, Twitch and uh, moderation and crazy stuff, and I don't I don't use them at this moment. All right, well, I'm going to just give you a clear cut uh, uh, to do uh, thing, like how I do it. So here is my Discord. Let me pull up my Discord real quick. All right. So my Discord. All right, it's right here. There will be a lot of people or whatever. Don't pay attention to who I'm following here because uh, sometimes I follow based on. I'm going to explain that in a bit. Okay, sometimes I follow them, I remove them if they're shitty based on whatever I find. So yeah, I have my criteria, okay, which I'm going to explain later on. So here's the deal. If you notice, I have a channel, okay. First, you have to create a, you have to create a server. Like I mentioned, you have to understand a little bit about, about Discord. So create a server and then within a server, my server is called Crypto Insider in this case. Okay, you can clearly see it's called Crypto Insider. And in, within, within this server i create i've created several channels text channels okay so i like to keep them separated like as you can see general tweets news and probably down the road i'm gonna break them up like further down i'm gonna just give you an example so since i'm into mtv luna chronos chronos i'll i'll give uh, i'll take Carl chronos as an example here okay chronos these are the people or projects i'm following at this moment which are all chronos related Anytime they tweet out something, I get all of them at one particular place, like right here. So it's very easy for me to keep up with the tweets. So I don't have to go everywhere else, right? Helps me with my editing and sanity. Straightforward. Sometimes if you notice that some of them are garbage or they turn out to be really good, but later on they become garbage, I just remove them. That's how it is. So how I do this. Now let's get back to it. Let's get back to Bot Ghost. Over here, head to Twitter module. All right, and you can clearly see, refresh if you don't see anything else. Once you have connected your, uh, the Discord bot, like once you connect this with your Discord, you'll be able to see all your channels here. All the channels, which are right here, you can see, right? All the channels, you'll be able to see it right here in the Discord dashboard. So let's say I want to follow someone, uh, Kronos, right? So I'm gonna do this right now, let's see. So I'm on Twitter. And I'm just giving, giving, giving a straightforward example. I'm going to take my username here, okay? And I will say, I'll go back to Discord. Sorry, um, bot ghost. I'm going to add my Twitter handle. 
and from here I will put it in uh, Chronos okay and I'll say add and I'll save changes so that's it so now what happens I will be I'll be added in one of these places here okay and every time I tweet out something it will show up here uh, let's see it will show up right in discord it will show up right so you can see today at 2 27 p.m which was just uh, some time back ninja scalp tweeted this out and etc uh, etc et so when i tweet something out it's gonna show up right here very straightforward okay so that's how i keep up with crypto twitter i know that's one of the reasons a lot of people see that i don't follow anybody on uh, twitter because it's just too much to keep up and this is how a shadow follow because the main reason is I, I like to keep things organized so if you go to luna a lot of people I have on my list i like to keep up with because they're just uh, providing news on luna and that's pretty much helpful and i like to weed them out find the best ones and then i uh yeah that's where i how i get my news okay so that's that's the twitter part of this now let's talk about the the two other uh features which i use once in a while the uh, the second one is reddit i'll give an example and then i'm gonna go to uh, youtube reddit i don't i don't do a lot but you can clearly see i track subreddits this is how you track subreddits okay so right now i'm tracking satoshi street bets uh right now there's another one called cryptocurrency you could add this as well if you want let's go back and I'll, i'm gonna add this uh oh i didn't copy i guess all right let's see oh sorry my bad there you go so over here i don't know about this timeout it doesn't matter and same you see i have a channel called reddit here i'll just put a reddit or you could just create whatever channel based on your topics and it'll post on that so i can create a section called crypto reddit and right here and then like for example i can just create a channel right name it crypto reddit etc it's gonna show up and then you can pull it up from there and you can show it there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add here save changes and you can see it has been added right and if you go to my reddit here you can clearly see every time they're posting it on reddit i'm getting it right on my spot you see so this has been posted just a minute ago and uh if you click on this right now for example if i click on this so when i read this news let's say um i go through real quick i find something really interesting and i want to check it out i just have to click on it and it'll open in the browser voila straightforward right Again, yeah, so then you see if it's interesting, you check it out. If not, out. That's it. So, first thing was Twitter. And it's also interesting. Uh, whether you want to, like, keep up with the crypto Twitter or whether you want to uh, treat this video as a research method or just how I use my bots. I mean, it doesn't matter. But this is probably, like, uh, you can combine every single thing together and, yeah, use it to your advantage, okay? So, here's the thing. Now, that's Reddit for you. Now let's talk about the YouTube part. All right, let's go back to modules, YouTube. Over here, straightforward, I just have a couple of them just to show you an example, okay? So let's say over here you put the channel uh, name, the channel ID, and uh, the channel name doesn't matter really, like whatever you wanna put, but the ID is where you need to put the real ID of the channel. And again, over here, you can see, you can create any channel name. I have like called Vids. And over here, you just have to, um, let's see. If you have to go to my YouTube channel, you could just put your channel uh, ID here. This should work, literally. So that's it. You add this, you save changes, and it should be right here, somewhere on the list. Okay? And that's it. Every time someone, uh, you know, puts a video out, like whenever I put a video out, you'll see it show up on your vids. You're gonna show up in your vids right here simple as that straightforward okay so yeah that's all i got for you for the three sections like the features okay once uh let's see twitter i covered reddit okay but youtube these three are really the most important ones if you want to really keep up with the crypto twitter okay and of course there's internet and website uh web and all that right i get that so this is how I do it. Number four, if you are uh, if you are emotionless, because this is 
number four is like an option which is uh, not for everybody because if you get easily offended this is definitely not for you okay you have to be ruthless heartless emotionless for the fourth one and the ch the one i'm talking about is called 4chan yeah it's, it's literally crazy so 4chan has a section called uh it's called uh let me see if i can make it easy it's called boards.4chan.org biz catalog okay it's a biz catalog you can see business business and finance you can just google 4chan dot whatever and it's gonna show up one of the really crazy uh places to find crypto related stuff matter of fact like i like i mentioned this is the fourth option very unpopular option this board is filled with racism crazy stuff however you have to dig deeper to find something legit all right i wouldn't suggest you to spend more than 15 10 minutes on this if you really decide to get in because once you dig into some of the stuff it might take you down the rabbit hole and it's difficult to get out of it trust me on that but there are a lot of hidden gems you could also find like i mentioned it just depends okay so this is a fourth optional option but like i mentioned you have to understand how to filter through all the bs and find the gem in here okay so this is the fourth one and fifth obviously the way i'm gonna leave it to you is with the uh, searching on twitter like cash searching with cash tag right so if you get on twitter let's say i want to search on i, I want to find out about the project called um let's see uh mtv all right or luna so i'm gonna say luna hashtag uh cash tag not hashtag or you could say cash tag terra luna if it um because it, it does it's there when you type terra luna you can see there is a cash tag a hashtag 770 tweets however usually when it comes to uh, crypto or finance or stocks i always i always search using the cash tag first okay so this is how i do it it's right here all right so i search for luna i'm i filter through latest this is like the 40 seconds the last latest news that's just posted 40 seconds ago 50, uh, three seconds ago so every time somebody um ha you know adds the cash tag of that particular coin you'll be able to see it so with this at least i get an idea of what's going on in the market so some, let's say all of a sudden i see luna or something takes off all of a sudden like it's 54 dollars or 56 dollars 60 dollars without even uh, just the best way to figure it out is to get on twitter okay find follow uh, check out their twitter first of all twitter profile and then have a cash tag search on the cash tag and see what you can find out you'll see a lot of people give out a lot of good information and there are a lot of people who's going to give you a lot of cra uh, crazy stuff because there are a lot of moon boys a lot of uh, nasty junk lunatics so you're gonna be a little careful with that okay um yeah so you can you can clearly see this is one of the decent way but again you have to learn to filter through all this information and uh last but not the least of course when you look into the project when you find a project after doing all this after going through um after going through all these, like uh, YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, once you follow certain people, what happens is the algorithm kind of figure, figures out that this is what you do, and they're going to show you similar content most of the time. So once you f follow certain people on like Kronos Network, like once you follow this dude, or uh, I wouldn't suggest a particular, uh, like a, you know, I would suggest following a project like Terra Luna. So let's say I follow terra money right this is the main project account if i follow them what happens is they will show you other similar accounts right you can see there are similar accounts right there so they'll, uh, they'll show you you might like this 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 mars protocol is uh, one of the what i do is i say show more so when you click show more there are a lot of projects they'll show you which is pretty much similar okay the algorithm it does its best to provide as uh, relevant as possible okay so you can see cosmos okay well pylon is on um terra luna i would uh, follow pylon i would follow loop finance so let's say i'm interested to keep up with terra luna projects i'll take this loop finance okay i'm gonna go to bot ghost twitter bot ghost i'm gonna paste it here and i'm gonna go to luna right here i'm gonna say add and save that's it so every time loop finance posts a tweet i'll be able to see it in one spot particular place on top of that, if you are using the Discord app on your cell phone and you want notifications, you can also do that. So every time somebody posts on Twitter, it gets on your Discord and you can see everything on Discord from your phone. 
You get the point? Really straightforward. So I'm, I'm trying to give you all alphas in one place. Understand this. You have Twitter, you have YouTube, you have uh, Reddit, you have 4chan. These are the main ones. You don't need much, trust me. These are the main ones. You can get every thing, single thing from one to the other to the other in a loop. All right? So connect them all together and uh, you'll be brutal. Okay? And uh, last but not the least, like I mentioned, I do the... These are the four four ways, okay? Use the cash tag, cash tag search, right? Done that. And then once you find a project, you get on them and you, you're interested. Now what you do, you join their Discord, you join their Telegram. Uh, often you won't find much information in the Telegram because it's filled with moon boys and a lot of crazy stuff. However, there are some genuine people out there as well. Like they'll provide you genuine stuff, right? I understand. So yeah, but this is exactly how I do my stuff. So you have all those methods, and once you find a particular project you're interested in, you follow them, shadow follow them with bots, whatnot, and then you follow their Telegram, and then you follow their Discord, and that's it. Keep up with them. So if anything changes, you'll find out, and uh, etc. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and again, if you found this useful, would appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel, again, if you're new, and share this with everybody on the internet. Let's help everyone out there to make money. I know this is a hard time. The whole market is not doing so well. Totally fine. I understand. And uh, I will do whatever I can in my powers to give you guys the best. Whenever I give you guys Hopium, I also make sure it's real. Okay? We will make it. Just stay there. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Alright? So Rebel, over and out.